Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven. We're going to talk about how to set up your ad sets. Now we talked about campaigns briefly before ad sets, however, allow you to target specific groups, their locations, their countries, different audiences, their likes, their interests, the budget. You can specify that as well. So when you create different ad sets, you want to make sure that you create a different ad set for a different location. So you don't want to create an ad set with tons and tons of countries together, unless they are perhaps the third world countries. But for the most part, what we like to do is we like to segment and try to create as many different ad sets as possible. That way we kind of get more of a granular view of what's actually converting into page likes. So if we find out that maybe a specific city in a specific country is converting really, really well, then instead of targeting the whole country and losing money that way, you can instead target that specific city. And then your cost will actually drop because the engagement increases, right? So just keep that in mind when you create your ad sets. Now, Facebook is going to ask, what page would you like to promote? So in this case, you want to just click on that and specify that. And if we scroll down, the next section is audience. So we have custom audiences. So it, unless you are aware of what this is, just ignore it. But basically, custom audiences are, think of lists or email lists, basically of people that have visited a certain page and hit your pixel. So if you do have a custom audience, you can enter that here. Now for now, just ignore this. So if we scroll down further, it says location. So people who live in this location, everyone in this location, people recently in this location or people traveling in this location. So that gives you a better idea of who to target. So if your product or service relates more to these, you may want to choose those. In this case, we always choose people who live in this location. A lot of times it will choose your country by default. So we're just going to click X here and it's going to say missing audience location. Now, in this case, we want to target the third world countries. So we've got Bangladesh here. And another thing that you have access to is regions. So if you click on browse, what Facebook will do is it'll list out regions. So we've got free trade areas, emerging markets, app store regions, the Europe area. So free trade, you can go to Asia down here. So Asia down here encompasses Australia, Brunei, Hong Kong. So these are actually what we call, some of these are actually tier one. So we don't want to do that off the bat because that will just increase our costs. So what we like to do is if you, you're not aware of what country to target, you can actually simply go to google.com, type in the keyword term list of third world countries and scroll down and just try to look for it. So it says world, third world countries, 2019. Obviously this most likely is going to stay the same throughout the next few decades. But if we go back over here. Okay, so I scrolled down the page and I found a list of third world countries. So we can see a list, we can see the population here. So what we could do is we could sort by population. So as you can see, I mentioned Bangladesh because Bangladesh actually works fairly well in our past campaigns. So we've got that, we've got Ethiopia, we got Congo, Tanzania, Myanmar is another one. Let's see, Myanmar. Okay, so when we go back here, we can type in that country and we just click it like that. 
Now, I want you to know that some countries may not exist. So you might type in some and, and think, okay, where is it? It's because some of them just don't have access to Facebook at all, or Facebook hasn't been allowed into that territory yet. Now, if you don't want to enter them one by one by one, you can create a list of them and then enter them and copy and paste them in here by clicking add locations in bulk and going through that process. Next, we have age and gender. Generally speaking, you want to choose something broad. You always want to start at broad and then get narrow later down the road. Unless you've done tests before and you know that the age range is a specific group. Because otherwise, you might be ruling out people who may be within an age range that you're not, not targeting. That is actually uh, going to be a highly engaged audience. So we're going to leave that as it is. Now, languages. Because we are targeting third world countries, we know that a lot of them speak English, but some of them might be getting on Facebook and they may not speak English. So if that's the case, they're going to see your ad and you're going to pay money to someone who you're essentially not going to be able to uh, communicate to. So we enter English here. Next up, we have detailed targeting. This is very important as well because this will allow you to target on a granular level as to what people's interests are. Now, if you're not familiar with how Facebook interests works, this is basically how it works. So Facebook has what we call a Facebook tracking pixel. And these are pixels that are placed by website owners like us on our websites. Whenever somebody visits those pages, they are then pixeled or Facebook sees them and they see them visiting, let's say, a barbecue website. So the people that you're targeting are actually interested in that particular interest. So there's different things you can target. You can target, we'll just type in motivational. So we got, you can see motivational quotes here. So that's one. Now, if you type that in again, motivational quotes, sometimes it'll give you suggestions and you can click suggestions and it'll, it'll give you a list of other similar interests that are directly related to this particular interest. And you can pick and choose those. Now, I want to say when it comes time to analyzing your data, Facebook will actually tell you where the Facebook page likes come from and based on what targeting. So even if you have several in here, it's okay. Next up, you can specify people of specific Facebook pages or you can exclude people of that particular page. Next up, we have automatic placements. In other words, where do you want Facebook to show your ads to the right people? So automatic placements, what that means is Facebook will use their artificial intelligence to place your ads. If you click edit placements, you can then specify which places you want your ads to appear. So you can do all devices, which is highly recommended if you're starting out and you don't know just yet, it's better to start general than more specific because if you start specific, you can't go backwards. It's kind of like taking an image and then making it small and cropping it and decreasing the size and just trying to get back to the bigger size. It doesn't work that way. So you got to start general and then move to specific. So just to keep things simplistic, we usually choose automatic placements because we're utilizing Facebook's extremely smart artificial intelligence. Okay, so we got optimization and spending controls. Usually just keep everything by default and click continue. And that's it. So that's all there is in terms of setting up an ad set. Now we can create an ad, which is the images, the content that you want to essentially put against each other and figure out what is actually converting. All right. We'll see you in that 